Now for a story you'll see only on CBS2. Vandals target the official residence of L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti. The home is located in L.A.'s historic Windsor Square area. CBS2's Bobby Capel has the pictures and spoke to the mayor tonight. Bobby. Well, Paul, anyone who's lived in L.A. for any period of time knows that graffiti is a problem in this city, but here at the Windsor Square Mansion, you'd probably expect the Getty House to be the last place to get hit. These photos taken Sunday afternoon show tagging on the walls surrounding the Getty House, the L.A. mayor's official residence. The LAPD says the Windsor Square landmark was one of several homes hit over the weekend in the area. How big of a problem is it when the mayor's house gets tagged, too? Well, I think, you know, it shows that this isn't something that's gone yet uh, anywhere in our city. Tonight, I caught up with Mayor Eric Garcetti, who says he saw the graffiti this morning for the first time. Tonight, you can see the wall has since been painted over. The property is loaded with security cameras, but police won't say if the culprits were caught on tape. Have you ever had your house tagged before? Sure, when I lived in Echo Park, that we had that. So, you know, I think so many Angelinos have had their business um, or their home tagged before. It's, you know, an annoying thing of life, but we try to make sure we go after it quickly. That doesn't necessarily surprise me. Steve Barshop lives a few houses down. His walls also got tagged. This happened once, maybe 20 years ago. And the quicker we get it down, the more frustrating it is for the tagger. Garcetti says he's been fighting tagging and graffiti for years, dating back to his city council days, and he says the city needs to deal with the issue. When we catch people, we're going to make sure that there's a punishment. Uh, we're not seeking to s send kids to jail forever, but we got to take a, a hard line of making sure that people know this is unacceptable. Now, Garcetti says if you see tagging in your neighborhood, all you have to do is dial 311 to report it, and they will have a crew out there within 24 hours to start painting over it. As for this particular case, so far, no arrests have been made, but police believe kids were involved. We're live tonight in Windsor Square. Bobby Capel, CBS 2 News.